Let's quickly turn an image into grease pencil. Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now this is a very easy tutorial to be honest, so I'm going to kind of pad the video out just a little bit. So I've been playing around with grease pencil and I released an animatic the other day. If you want to check it out, click on the top right. But I've been thinking of ways to improve the workflow. Now, I'm not a big fan of the way the stabilisation works in the grease pencil. Don't get me wrong, it's perfectly fine, but I like applications like Outrage or whatever. So I thought maybe I could draw it in that and then take it into grease pencil. So here we are. So let's just quickly start a new scene. And in traditional fashion, let's delete the default cube. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go on the x-axis here. I'm going to go to add and I'm going to go to image and then add in a reference image. Now this is one of my kids drawing, it's not mine. But it's too good to be mine to be honest. And we have this here. And all we need to do is go to object, convert and you'll see here trace image to grease pencil. It's that simple to be honest. Now we have a few options, you can target the object so that will basically put it in a new layer. The thickness is obviously the thickness of the stroke, you can also scale it and you can sample it. Now if you check out the documents, I'll leave a link in the description down below. The object scale is applied to the generated grease pencil. Sample recreate the stroke geometry with a predefined length between the points. So it kind of evaluates the points. Smaller values will require more points to recreate the stroke. You have a colour threshold as well. So for example, my image actually has a few different colours on that. You can kind of distinguish between this. It still gives you a black and white image, but it's one thing. You also have things like a turn policy, so it kind of works out, prioritise to connect the black foreground, stuff like that, and mode determines the image being traced as a single image or an image sequence. So you can actually trace an image sequence, so you can start building this up very easily. So we'll just leave everything pretty much on default and I'll hit OK. And that is pretty much what we get. Now obviously we can kind of tart this up a little bit, we'll go to the modifiers, we'll add in a quick noise modifier, drop this down to 10 and we'll put the scale up a little bit. And you get a really nice effect very quickly. And that's pretty much the tutorial for today, do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, you know what to do. Take care.